Pinning and spreading insects is a routine activity in any natural history museum and by insect hobbyists. The ability to pin and mount insects in a proper way is an art in itself and requires a great deal of patience and practice. Insects are collected and preserved for both education and art by scientists, amateur entomologists, teachers, students and hobbyists. For pinning insects, special types of pins called insect pins or entomological pins are used. These special pins come in different sizes ranging from number 000 to number 7. There are also tinier pins called minutan pins which are used for pinning very tiny insects such as mosquitoes. Number 0 to number 2 sizes of pins are most commonly used for pinning insects. Different groups of insects have different sites for pinning as a general rule as seen in this diagram. The red dots on each insect indicate the site where the insect pins has to go through for the particular order of insects. In this video, I'll be showing you how to pin and spread a cicada specimen. For pinning a cicada, you'll need the following. A cicada specimen, which may be either a freshly caught or a rehydrated specimen. Insect pins, in this case, a number 5 or number 7 pin. Tweezers and pins. Butter paper strips. Scissor. A spreading board, ready-made or homemade, with a wide central groove that can accommodate the abdomen of the cicada. The spreading platforms of the board contain two sheets of graph paper containing grit lines to aid in the symmetrical spreading of the wings. To begin the pinning process, take the cicada specimen. Introduce a number 5 or number 7 insect pin through the mesonotum area close to the longitudinal axis of the cicada body. Make sure that the pin is at right angle to the specimen plane at all sides. This requires a bit of patience and practice. Once the pin has been inserted correctly, Position the specimen in the central groove of the pinning board in such a way that the body of the specimen lies in the groove. Using two pins, secure and support the body of the specimen by pinning on both sides of the abdomen like so. The specimen is now ready for spreading. For the spreading process, take a blunt forcep or tweezer and gently lay out the wings onto the spreading platform. Now take a sheet of butter paper and place it on top of the wing on one side. Using a pin or a forcep, hold the forewing at its thickest part called the costal vein and slowly and carefully pull the wing upwards until the inner margin of the forewing is approximately at 90 degrees to the body. Now secure the wing in this position by inserting pins through the butter paper at several places along the margin of the wing. Follow the same process with the hind wings. Position the hind wing such that the costa of hind wing lies just below the dorsum of the forewing. Secure the hind wing by inserting pins through the butter paper at several places along the margin of the wing. Do the same with the wings on the other side. Now carefully remove the two pins that were used to secure the body of the specimen and reinsert them below the abdomen such that they form a cross onto which the abdomen rests on the same plane as the wings. The cicada is now pinned and spread. Using a pin, fix a small piece of paper containing the specimen number or collection number. Leave the board in a warm, dry and secure place away from insects and pests for a week or two to dry. Once the specimen has dried, Carefully remove the pins used to secure the wings and abdomen. Remove the butter paper sheets from the wings. Carefully remove the pinned cicada from the spreading board. If the specimen is for educational or research purposes, 
prepare an appropriate label of 1 by 2 cm dimension. Preferably at least two labels containing all necessary information pertaining to the specimen. Pin these labels below the specimen. Your cicada is now pinned, labeled and ready to be entered into your collection box or into a frame if it was made for aesthetic purposes. This concludes our cicada pinning, spreading and mounting tutorial. Thanks for watching.